Oh yeah, gaming. Check this out. Perfect turn. A perfect turn, if I have ever seen one. Haze, get rid of all the stat changes. Howl, make a new one. I'm recording this after I did all the battles, but you already know that this team is heat. Uh, go ahead and say hi, chat. Anyways, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to be sharing this team, uh, making it completely public for you guys. If you want the full breakdown, like the write up the EV spreads, check out my Patreon. Uh, but I'm going to go over the basics of what this team does for you right here uh, and just make it public. There's the code if you guys want to use it. And uh, let's go ahead and switch back to full screen as I break down the team for you very quickly. The in-depth one, as always, on Patreon. But yeah. Uh, or if you're a YouTube member or a Twitch subscriber, you also have access to the to the, the write-up. So, we have a Terra Flying, Terra Blast, Rock Slide, Low Kick, Assurance, um, Tyranitar. That's going to be able to outspeed uh, Pokemon up to Dragapult. It's 107 speed is the speed tier on this guy. Uh, which means, in the, the way that you're going to get up to that speed is just going to be by pairing it with Sand Rush Houndstone. Uh, we're Terra Grass on that one. It's got Lash Respects, will with Scary Face, Howl. Uh, at plus one, you... Oko Fluttermane with um, with the Lash Respects, even at like 50 base power, I'm pretty sure. Uh, and that is because we're running Howl on this guy. Howl plus Tyranitar is like super cool and it's like really useful. But for the most part, your lead's going to be like Palafin plus Tyranitar. We got Jet Punch, Wave Crash, Haze, uh, and Protect. It is Safety Goggles, Go Go Gadget Safety Goggles, very useful. Clear Amulet and the Salmons, that's more of a niche lead. It does well into uh, teams that rely a lot on their physical attackers. Uh, that Terra Steel is going to help out a lot versus the Chen Pao plus Dragonite leads because they don't have a lot of answers to it. And you can basically guarantee they're going to Ice Spinner you first turn. So you can actually lead off like Houndstone and like burn them and also go for like Terra Steel Tailwind. Uh, Amoongus is running the Covert Cloak. I could have put Citrus Berry on it, but I think Citrus Berry Houndstone is just better. We have Pollen Puff, Rage Powder, Spore Protect. That's going to help you out versus uh, Corrosion Glamours as well as... Uh, Salt Cure Garganical, you can just switch in on it, you're like, good. And we have Bulky Choice Specs Fluttermane. Very fun team. If you guys want to use it, there's the rental. Let's go ahead and get into the battles. Thanks for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, and yeah. Um, we have yet to play much Ranked Ladder. We, it was a, we have one win, two losses. Yeah, we've hardly played any Ranked Ladder this season, so we actually do have to get... <laughs> we definitely do have to get on to uh, Master Ball tier before the season ends. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. It's a fun team. I'll make a rental out of it. I'll, I'll put the rental at the beginning. Actually, I'll, I'll make it a rental in a second. Just give me a second. I'll, I'll, I'll like record the intro again. Yeah, I'll make this a rental for you guys. It's a fun team. Firestorm. Okay. Um, This is just Chen Pao Balance. Palafin, not Chen Pao Balance. This is Palafin Balance. Uh, I get a lot of value out of my settlements here, but I also just get a lot of value out of burning everything. So let's go ahead and just lead off with the boys. With the boys. Titar. Um, I think I want my Fluttermane here. Fluttermane's fine, yeah. Are you going to do more free-for-alls with Callum? I can hop in whenever I want. I've just been, like, he lives in, like... I forget where he lives, but it's it's... In a time zone that is very inconvenient for me, so I have to be like, hey, do it this time, and then they'll probably let me on, but I'm in, like, the group chat. I just haven't been available to do it. He's leaving the Intimidated at home. He's about to get fried. Nah, I've never had an issue with this without Intimidate. I've never had an issue with this. I might open my window to get a breeze in here. Maybe some fresh air. Let's do that. Let's get some fresh air. I just locked the window, which means my windows have been unlocked for days. I'm an idiot. I could have been attacked. All right. Thank you. 
That is effectively the lead I wanted. Um, let me take a look at what is on their team. I think I'm just going to go ahead and burn the Tinglu and go hard into Titar. They'd have to Fissure to, like, get a KO on this turn. Yep, they're going to switch. If, it, if it's Dragonite, I'm going to cry because I wish I could have burned it, but I can't make that. Yeah, I can't really make that play. That's fine, though. Uh, this turn, I can burn it. Or next turn. I, I could also just go for, like, Rock Slide and, like, Scary Face it, and that will do, like, just as good with the Sand Up. That actually might be my play. All right, connect the burn here. Pretty nice. Dirt Chop shouldn't do too much. Yeah, Citrus Berry is going to come in clutch there. Um, Chen Pao is going to take some Sandstorm damage. That'll leave it in range of Low Kick. I think here I'm actually pretty comfortable just going for it. Scary Face plus Low Kick should always KO. The reason I'm going to Low Kick instead of Rock Slide is because I'm not really concerned with the Ting Lu at this point. Um, and I just want to make sure that I get rid of this thing. I could also Terra Flying immediately, but I'd like to save that for later. Yeah, I want I want to save it for later because here I just want to I, I want to play it safe, you know. I'm I'm not gonna drop to a stomping tantrum, but check this out. This is gonna be a moment that anyone else would just clip and be like, I hate this game. This game's garbage. <laughs> Let's get rid of him. Let's get rid of him. All right. If he throat chops me again, I'm just gonna go down to my berry. I'm scared. I'm scared. No, I just Terra Flying here. That's look, I could have Terra Flying last turn, but this turn I rolled the dice and I just let him know I'm built different. I'm built different. I'm gonna start clicking Howl. Yeah, there it is. There it is. Alright, uh let me click uh Howl. Actually I'm gonna go for the burn. Let's go for the Will-O-Wisp. Terra Flying. Terra Blast. I could also Rock Slide, but I'm definitely slower than this thing. I should take a Jet Punch unless they want to Terra Water. And here, they should always go for, like, Stomping Tantrum. As my computer reminds me, Marcos, it's time to live stream. I disagree. I think it was time to live stream, like, 20 minutes ago. Alright, um, let's see what they go for. If they're if they're just gonna jet punch my houndstone, that's probably fine. Cause I'm gonna miss the burn, but I'm still gonna get that big boy damage. Jet punch into houndstone. Houndstone drops, that's fine. Let's get the big boy damage, as they're probably going to go for Stomping Tantrum. That wasn't as big of boy damage as I had hoped. That, that damage was not as big of a big boy damage as I wanted. I can't lie. Luckily, we can just chip it in range of whatever. Wish I could burn it. I cannot. Let's get in our own Palafin. Um, yeah, alright, so here I think I'm going to get in my own Palafin, and I think, I think I'm just going to double. So there's a plane. This is why I don't record with my, with my window open, because you can just hear everything. Alright, I'm just going to double this Palafin. Ice Punch? Alright, only like crazy people run Ice Punch on Palafin. It's such a bad move on it. As he withdraws the Ting Lu, what are you going to go for an Intimidate, Stinky? What are you going to go for an Intimidate, Stinky? Alright. He wave crashes. He's going for the KO on my guy. Little does he know. Little does he know. He's going to take too much recoil, and unless he's Citrus Berry, he's not going to like this outcome. He's not going to like this outcome. All right, I think Wave Crash into, like, Sand Damage does it. Palafin doesn't even need the Sand Damage. This mon's busted. It's its own counter. This mon's so busted. It's literally its own counter, dude. 
All right. And now I win with my... Honestly, the only tech on this team that's probably like super best of one in nature. And it's not even that best of one. Check this out. This is the tech. This is the tech I've been I've been waiting to reveal. I already showed this before, but go go gadget safety goggles palafin. <laughs> I think safety goggles palafin is like just as good as mystic water low key. On certain teams it's totally useful. Like this one, like we have a huge Amoongus weakness until, you know. <laughs> go go gadget safety goggles. And that's game. Nice. Good game to my opponent. You just fought me, good game. Oh, okay, good game. Good game, dude. Wait. Oh, for a minute I, I misread. I thought I thought your message said I was Onori, and I was like, but I just faced someone named Firestorm. No, okay. Firestorm and your username's Pyro VGC. I can put it together. Yeah, good job. Good game. I got to say uh, go go gadget safety goggles palafin against you. Irving, thanks for the follow. All right, yeah, my really just today's stream is just gonna be me like getting a lot of games at this team in because I think this team is actually pretty good. I just like, <laughs> I just like don't play enough on ladder to like, I don't know. I, I need to play, I, I need to record more ladder games to be honest. The only thing is like a lot of my content is just like, I like to test new teams and I like to do that on showdown. So a lot of my content showdown centric if not like discussion videos and like talking about regional results. So that's like a big reason why it'll be April 11th and I'm still like great ball tier because I've played a total of four games. All right. No ruins on this one. They're actually extremely weak to uh, the Salamence. So, but they're also like fairly weak to Safety Goggles Palafin. It's a little iffy. Uh, they don't have Intimidate though, but my Intimidate's like really good. But it's also not good if they have Clear Amulet anywhere. What a predicament we have found ourselves in. I think I'm just gonna go with Palafin and Houndstone Lead because it's pretty reliable. We'll go with Old Reliable. Old Reliable. Doing no Ruins team as well. It's definitely doable. I, I don't think Ruins are, are like necessary. Most of the time, the only ruin that you're going to see in a match is going to be a Ting Lu, and why would I bring a Ting Lu when my opponent's going to bring theirs for me? Y you know? Like, what's the point? Alright, not necessarily, like, the best lead for me. Not the best lead, because I don't have anything that wants to come in on this, so I actually might have to just sack my my guy. I'm going to protect here, and I'm going to go for the uh, scary face. And next turn, I'm just going to wave crash. Because I don't have anything that wants to come in on this. It's, like, really bad. Houndstone should eat this fine. Um, it's probably still going to be faster than Sylveon. And I need the big boy damage ASAP. I'm also, I think here I just go for like the raw, actually I can haze. I can haze here. That's probably better. Uh, and we'll go for a last respects onto Talonflame just to get rid of that uh, priority. Oh, well, that's, like, not great that I just hazed. It's not great that I just hazed there. Oh, 
Oh, they were whiter. They were a jacked pack? That's pretty interesting. This is cool. This is cool. I can't lie. I cannot tell a lie. This is a cool team. Unfortunately, I'm not going to break the priority like I wanted to. And my last respect is going to bounce off of, like, everything. Especially you. Get rid of that boost. Um, Likely not going to get to hit this thing too hard. This also doesn't make contact, so... Alright, how do I deal with this? Titar doesn't want to take an Earthquake, but neither does Fluttermane. I think here I just protect. And I attempt to burn. You know, it's probably not going to work out. Oh, wait, I might get this burn. I might get this burn. Come on, come on. I forgot if I'm faster or slower. Oh, I'm slower. I'm stupid. <laughs> I was like, I can do this. I can do this. All right, get rid of Houndstone. That's fine. Um, should be able to send in my Specs Fluttermane. I'm going to have to Terra Fairy here. And go for the D-Gleam. But, I mean, Terra Flying Tyranitar is also really good into this. So I might just go that now. Alright. Last turn of Tailwind, probably? Yeah. Okay, here, I'm actually gonna go hard Fluttermane, trying to call a Dragon Claw. Uh, and I'm gonna Terra Flying... I don't wanna Terra Blast. I think I wanna Terra Blast Sylveon. Actually, eh, I can just Terra Blast Garchomp. We're fine. That was a really rough lead for me. That Eject Pack Talonflame caught me off guard. Nice. Got the read. If they're Scarf, they're like Omega, just done. Terra Blast here. I did this so next turn they can't go for a defensive Terra to live the hit. Actually, they still might be able to. I'm going to go ahead and just go for Rock Slide Dazzling Gleam. Because that covers for Talonflame coming in. Yeah. Garchomp protects. Hopefully this picks up a KO on Sylveon. I'm pretty sure it doesn't. Can I flinch? That'd be actually really nice. Can I flinch this Sylveon? That'd be super cool. Flinch. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. <laughs> now they have to, like, switch out their, um, their Garchomp to hold onto it. Or Terra. They could just have a defensive Terra that beats this. But I, I, I do the same thing. Though, I'd imagine they would have done it last turn. I don't know why they do it this turn. Cool. Hopefully whatever I have in the back doesn't beat this. Because that'd be really bad. Titar is probably in a good spot. Uh, Fluttermane, though, like, it's 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 a bulky Flutter, but it's not like I can survive anything at half Flutter, you know? I don't think there's such a thing as that Flutter. Yeah, like that. Like, I'm not living that. The only way I get away with this is if they're, like, the single worst Scizor set of all time, or if they just decide to Terra Fire for no, for no discernible reason. If they Terra Fire, I'm going to be so happy. Just Terra Fire for no discernible reason, sir. D d d hello? 
That's an interest. I've never seen that one. Um, what does that do for you? You're gonna bullet punch me, right? You still, you still have bullet punch, right? Do they? If I flinch here, I win. I'm pretty sure. If if they don't have bullet punch for any reason, dude. Why don't you have bullet punch? I, I could still lose, don't get me wrong. Like, if they just decide to click it at any point. <laughs> Alright, yeah. My play here is pretty straightforward. Jet punch assurance. That'll do it. Since I know I'm faster than the scissor. Goodbye. That was interesting. <laughs> that was interesting. I, I don't know what the Terra Electric accomplished there. The hit was still neutral. Maybe they were... Alright, you know what? Maybe they were expecting the Terra Blast. That could be it. Terra Blast Electric also lets it, like, beat water types? I don't know, though. I don't know. Wacko, thanks for the raid. Yeah, I have no idea why they did that. Edge Dancer, thanks for the resub. Three months, appreciate you. All right. Let's, uh, by the way, for those of you coming into the stream, I'm I'm Ultra Ball on the 11th of, of April because I haven't played this season. Because when the season actually started, I was at Fort Wayne, and then last week I was doing the global challenge so i'm only now actually getting into master ball this season uh this is pretty similar to a team i like to run except not at all there's only three pokemon on there similar so i'm lying to you guys right now lying um honestly terra steel as long as they're not like corrosion i guess it doesn't matter terra steel intimidate looks really good in this matchup and i can just lead off with the boys uh I don't see much of a reason to bring this thing. Let's just go with you. Yeah. Yeah, I did six battles in the global challenge before I was like, I'm tired. <laughs> well, actually, it was just that it was like Easter and I was busy the weekend. There is a child crying outside. Let's close that window. All right, which one of you has a clear amulet? I know one of you's holding it. Show me it. There it is. <laughs> Show me your open. Open your hand. <laughs> no, it's like open your mouth. Show me the clear amulet. Open your mouth. <laughs> All right, uh, let's go ahead and let's go for a tailwind and a will o' wisp, and hopefully this thing isn't terra fire. Mortal Spin, even with Corrosion, doesn't affect Steel types, but Toxic will. Oh, come on. Alright. Well, I'm pretty sure it's going to be Terra Fire, so that's great. Oh, yeah, this is great. <laughs> this is great. Uh, you're, you're definitely Terra Fire, bro. I know you're Terra Fire. All right, how do I deal with you now? I think with that in mind, let's just predict it being Terra Fire. I'm going to go for Dual Wing Beat and Howl. Because you Terra here. You 100% Terra here. Okay, no, I'm cool with that too. I'm cool with that too. I can live with that. Maybe he's not certain that, like, his bullet punch will KO, so here he's going to go for an attack with the Houndstone. Yeah. Um, Houndstone probably drops to the bullet punch now, but I can just still do a wing beat. And let's go ahead and... 
Let's attempt it anyways. He might not be Terrifier, because I, I still think he would have done it last turn. Let's just attempt it. Alright, that's fine. I'm going to get some good damage here. That bullet punch should... It shouldn't do too much to me. Like, an assurance double up would hurt, but I should be fine. One. Two. Next one will KO. I think I prefer to sack my T-Tar more than anything here. That can't attack drop me. I'm going to go into my T-Tar because Low Kick will KO their T-Tar. Um, and if I want to go for a dual wing beat, like, they, they have to just deal with it. Yeah, T-Tar is also intimidated. Yeah, that turn one miss sucked. Cool. They're just going to give me their T-Tar here. Nice. And I think I still have one more turn of Tailwind, right? No, I don't. Ooh, that could be bad. That could be bad. A double up could absolutely ruin me. I have to kind of go for a read if that's the case. Because if they send out like a Flutter main, they definitely have to double my, my Salamence. So my play would be like to protect and rock slide. I really wish I didn't miss that turn one. There's a Glamora. Um, I think I'm fine. I think I just get rid of Scizor and I'm in like a way better spot than them. Let's just dual wing beat rock slide. Yeah, they go for that. Uh, Earth Power is going to hurt. I might be able to tank an Earth Power. It's going to be really close. Don't mess. All right. Maybe they just don't have it. Maybe they're like Power Gem. Maybe they're like a really bad set. Maybe the... Oh, no, there it is. I drop. Okay, that's probably a game. Unfortunate. Yeah, I think, honestly, I had it if I didn't miss that turn one will o -Wisp, but it is what it is. I don't see how we come back from that with um, Specs Flutter versus Glamora. Unless, like, the last Pokemon is just absolute Flutter food that can't hit it, which that Mon doesn't exist. Hold on! The Mon exists! The Mon exists! Um, But it's not looking good, because I have to lock into Thunderbolt. Why is this my best option? Alright, don't be AV and also go for an awful defensive Terra. That's how I win this. Go for an awful defensive Terra on your on your Glamora and like Spiky Shield here. Alright, be Glamora, be Glamora for no reason. It's Gyarados, yeah, I lose. <laughs> that's probably gonna be like ground. Fire. Okay, that's that's a good defensive Terra. Uh, I could have locked Shadow Ball, but there was no way of knowing that. It's fine. Yeah, it, the game entirely came down to if I landed that turn one burn or not, to be honest. Beyond that, I think we did some pretty good reads. Like, we basically called out what they wanted to do for the rest of the match. All right. That's our first loss of the night, right? Unless I'm, like, removing one from my memory. Yes, first loss, you started 1-2. Okay, cool. Moxie, thank you for the Quaqua of all recommendation. I've been enjoying it. I'm glad you're liking it. I, it's, it's a fun Pokemon. I won't say it's, like, better than Quaqua of all, but I don't think it's a direct... Not Quaqua of all. I don't, I don't think it's... So, I won't say that Quaqua of all is better than Palafin, because it's definitely not, but it's also not, like, a direct downgrade. It's actually... I would consider it more of a side grade than anything. And also, Mouse Ape. 
and also Mouse Ape. So Mouse Ape is a really interesting matchup for us because it comes down to if their Mouse Ape is tailor-made to beat our lead. Yay! <laughs> UB was kind of a meat grinder for this reg. What's UB? Ultra Beast? Errant in the game. So it can't be that. Ultra Ball, that's what it is. All right, so like, here's the thing. When you're going into like a team like this, when you're facing Palafin Balance and there's a Mouse Ape on it, my advice is assume that the Ape is Terrifier. It's almost always going to be Terrifier unless it's Terra Steel, which isn't a good idea in my opinion because while it does beat the Glamora lead, it loses to Chi Yu. So... Here's what I tend to do. Here's what I like to do. I always burn my Terra turn one, and I double up on the mouse hold. Because I'm a defensive, but somewhat fast, um, Flutter main, I can eat a Rage Fist. And if they decide to go for side beat up immediately or a follow me, they're still not in a good position because they should be very scared of my uh, Palafin. Because late game Palafin can deal with this as long as it doesn't start setting up. And if it does set up, I can just go for Haze. So basically, the real issue here isn't like the Annihilate as much as it is the Mouse Hold. Granted, they can always just protect turn one, calling that out. But this is the pain we experience in the Mouse Ape matchup. Not exactly a right call. It's just knowing your opponent, and I don't know this person. But what I'm going to say is I think that they want to go for side beat up and Terra fire, and I'm just going to hope. Nope, but it looks like I got the right call because Mouse Hold should be slower than that Annihilate. So this will definitely KO, and this Annihilate is no longer an issue. And also, by getting a call that right, you just assert dominance on the on the Mouse Ape player. Like, I really just asserted my dominance. I just took my whole Fluttermane out and put it on the table. Alright. So, in this situation, I don't like my position. Um... Because they can just Rage Powder me away, right? And start going for Setup. So I need to get my Palafin off the field. I think I'm just going to try to go for a Specs Moonblast. And get in my Tyranitar here. Actually, Houndstone's better, technically. Houndstone's better for a pretty, uh, pretty cool reason. I'll show you that next turn if this doesn't go awful. Well, they just Rage Powder here. That's fine. They're going to want to set up. It's not that bad, though. That does, like, way too much. They're going to bulk up on me. In this situation, honestly... Honestly, here, I'm just going to hit the... I'm just going to hit the Amoongus again. Actually, just go Palafin. Let's just go Palafin, and I'm going to go for the... um. I'm going to go for the Will-O-Wisp, assuming that they just want to Rage Powder. I don't take too much from Drain Punch. Next turn, I can Haze. Oh, great. One more annoying Pokemon to defend the Ape. Yeah, that's just how... That's how Annihilate... That's how Annihilate works. Cool. They Terra Fired here. That's fine. As long as they went for, like, the Spore into my Palafin, like, this turn isn't wasted. Yep, there's the Terra Fire. They should be Rage Fisting. I don't think they ever go for Drain Punch. They go for Bulk Up? Cool. I can just Haze next turn. 
I can just haze. Uh, and if they went for Spore into my Palafin, this is perfect. Nice. Okay, now check this out. This is where they lose. Because this, uh, this Annihilate hasn't taken a single bit of damage. Now, what I'm going to show you is really important. If we take a look at my Palafin, you can see its speed stats 121. This guy's 109, which means that I can safely go for this epic gamer play. It's called Haze and Howl on the same turn. I hate you. Whole thing, that's one word. Terra Electric isn't actually bad as a Terra for Gyarados. It lets it like resist electric moves and it can't be paralyzed, which there's a lot of paralysis going on right now. But I'd argue it's like not like the best either. Oh yeah, gaming. Check this out. Perfect turn. A perfect turn if I have ever seen one. Haze, get rid of all the stat changes. Howl, make a new one. Or I could care less. I could care less. All right. Um, I can just wave crash. Drain punch doesn't like do anything to me. Go for another howl. Who cares? <laughs> Palafin poops in the water and the stats are gone. Thank you, post and games. They withdraw the annihilate. What are you switching into? What switches in on this? That doesn't switch in on this, I can tell you that much. Oh, he doesn't know. He doesn't know. Your HP stat's like really low, so I also don't take too much recoil. Yeah, I'm good. Uh, let's just go for another Howl. Just go for another howl. Yeah, go, go, Gadget Safety Goggles. Literally, the amount of times Safety Goggles Palafin has come in clutch when I've been using this team is ridiculous. It's such a good item. All right, go, go, Gadget. Do it again. It's very funny, actually. I'm going to howl uh, in case he decides to protect and, like, go for, like, a Pollen Puff crit or, like, foul play. And just hope... If he's foul play Amoongus, I'm just done. Like, they just deserve to win, to be honest. They protect... Another perfect turn, if I say so myself. Rage Fist. Six damage. I'm calling it right here. Alright, well, close. It was like 26. Alright, wake up. Wake up. I need Houndstone to wake up so we can flex on him a little harder. We need to flex a little bit harder. Wake up. Wake up, Houndstone. Yes! <laughs> Houndstone has woken up. Houndstone has woken up. How's it faster than Palafin? They can invest to be faster than Palafin. I'm a pretty slow Palafin. All right. All right, all right, all right. Now check this out. This is a plus two. This is a plus two wave crash and a plus two last respects. Nah, they just forfeit. Cool. I only have four speed investment on this Palafin. 